word. That's <laughs> true. All right. All right, hang on. Rockland World Radio. We put the rock in Rockland. Independent. You know it. You love it. You can't live without it. Rockland World Radio. to you live from the village of Nyack, New York. No lie, here we are from uh, the uh, Nyack Village Theater, which is located high atop the Woolworth Way building here on Main Street. I'm sitting with Umberto and Jamal uh, representing the uh, film. What's the name of this film? Virgin Blacktop. That's right. We also have Mr. Charlie Daniels on the phone. Charlie. Yes, that's me, Charlie Samuel. <laughs> All right. Welcome to our listeners, and we also have Tommy on the camera who will join us. Uh, Tom, you could join us right now if you like. Oh, that's a good shot. And, and when we uh, we play the trailer, uh, we'll zoom into the trailer to let the people see what it is we are talking about. But we'll be talking about an awful lot of things. First off, let me tell you... Uh, let me read to you. As I said, I was uh, an adequate reader here. Jamal, who currently lives in Nyack, was the undisputed leader or father of our tribe of skateboarders that started in Nyack, New York. He may have been the first skateboarder in Rockland and certainly was the most well-known in the 1970s when we started. He was also known as Professor B., a rapper, mixer, DJ, or mixologist. If it wasn't for Jamal, most of us would not know nothing about the absolute best music genre of that time, funk. Now, he is an inv in inventor, a father, and still a skateboarder. Ask him about his skateboard high jumping skills or how much he loves downhill skating or how he helped us tremendously gain confidence when we were younger. And I'm sure he'd be very happy to tell you. And he's going to tell us a little about it today. And Umberto Brown Lee currently loves in, lives in uh, Tuskegee, Alabama, and is the wordsmith king of us all. And when he means us all, wordsmith, what all are we talking about? All the followers, all the believers. Ain't that, ain't that so? All the believers of a movement and an entrepreneur now, but when he when he when they met, he was all but 12 years old, skinny, and very talented skater. Ask him about a trick, and he would do the so-called headstand. He once knocked Joe Hamares, our only team member, to competitively competitively rank nationally out of first place with a single footwork move he made up. Another way to describe his skating is smooth. Ask him to tell you about how short I was as a diver or when he ordered me to stop the car because he just had to dance to Coke Emotion. Charlie, you can hear this. 
Yeah, I can. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, the invention of uh, urethane wheels was what precipitated the surge in skateboarding in the mid-70s, along with funk music and our Bible, Skateboarder Magazine. We mostly skated what is called freestyle, and competition was not our priority, but going on road trips was. Ask us about how much freedom our parents gave to us and how we managed to stay in touch to this day. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do, and that's part of what we're going to find out about today with these uh, two gentlemen. And Tommy, a young up-and-comer who has probably uh, known about these guys before you met them. Is that so? Yes. Better say yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to our show, guys. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you being here, here. and, and uh, I'm glad you're feeling better. It's a couple of two flights up, and... Uh, and uh, you got to be healthy to get up here. So we know that you've passed the <laughs> physical. Passed the test, you've just passed the physical. Come up here. Okay. So, all right. So take us back. Take us back. The first skateboard. Your first skateboard. What was wow. going on before you got your skateboard? Okay. When if before you got yours, what were you feeling? Wow. We're talking about way back now. We're talking. Shh. I'm talking, talking before when we, when we the idea of what that skateboard yeah. was going to represent and how much you, why you wanted it, what it was going to change, how it was going to change your life, you know, some wheels. Well, with me, it was, uh, it started back in 1969 when uh, me and one of my brothers, he, we found a skateboard that somebody threw out. Uh-huh. Because back then, it was steel wheels mm. and, and, you know, flat board. And uh, he found it. We tried it. He tried it. He didn't really get the knack of it because he kept on busting his butt. I'm gonna say the other he, word. He tried but to make. He tried to make one. No, no. He tried to ride it. Oh, well, that's okay. But he didn't have the balance. Right. But at least you got one made. Oh, no, no, no. We found it. Oh, you found one in the yeah. garbage. <laughs> Somebody threw it out. Because I've heard stories of, of making them too. Oh, oh yeah, we used to make them with, the, the, with the roller blade wheels. You know, the skate the roller skating wheels. That's right. The steel wheels. That's exactly. Right. Yeah, we'd pull the steel wheels off, make our, you know, put attached to. Of course, then we weren't using screws. We would use nails. Yep. <laughs> we'd use nails and bend them. Yep. This is a, again, we're talking uh, probably almost 40 years ago. So, yeah. we're talking a long time. Yeah. You know, but uh at the time skateboarding was just a a, a dream. Skateboarder magazine, and I think uh, uh the reading said that was was like a bible to us. You know, it was what we always wanted to do. We'd look at those pictures and we'd, we'd hear about those folks out in, uh, on Cali. the West Coast in California. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, but uh, lo and behold, we had no idea. We, 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 uh, I think we far exceeded them in, in a lot of ways yes. and didn't even know it at the time. Exactly. And that's how hard, you know, and uh, how deep it was in our hearts, you know, the, the, the skating. It was just, uh, I think it was for me, you know, it was like the light that went off, mm -hmm. you know, every time I saw Jamal or Charlie or, you know, Joey or we got together and went to went to skate, you know, it was this light that just went off and uh -huh. it, it didn't turn. The only time it turned off, you know, when, when we were not skating, you know, when I had to go <laughs> home or I had to come in. But, I, you know, everywhere I went, I had my board. So, so did someone get the skateboard first? Did you, did you lend a skateboard? You know, when you had your first skateboard on the block, let's say, did you let your friends, like, take a ride on it? Oh, once? of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But when they got on it, it either made you or break you. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of people other. got on that board and it broke them right. yeah. physically, the butts, the elbows. Yeah. yeah. And if you were good and you just got back up, and said I'm gonna conquer this, you get back on that board and you kept on trying, trying until you got better. Yeah. You almost needed a reason to be on it. Exactly. Right. It was a freedom. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. It was. It was. And I think the camaraderie that it created for us, I know the, with with the Wizards, uh, it gave us such a such a sense of family outside of. You know, we came from all walks of life: white, black, Hispanic. You know. Rich, poor, we we were just and it just drew us together. That was the common that bond. Was bond yeah. man. The skateboard was the one bond that we had. And nothing else really mattered, exactly. you know, except to skate. And uh, I don't know. It's 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 amazing because uh, uh, if you had told me then, you know, we all had that dream. I think of being a professional skateboarder. And I, you know, I, I think that uh, Joey, he 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 nailed it, man. Mm. You know, he nailed it, and I'm really really proud of him that he nailed it because as a kid. You know, we all wanted to do that, but we skated. I mean, we skated all over. But the it East wasn't Coast. the priority. No. What, the priority was what it what it was, and right. that was the here and now, and that was some transport. That was moving. It gave right. movement, got you off your block faster. You could kick. What is it? Kick and push. Exactly. But, uh, hey, let me let me tell you this, and that is is that I remember we would hit the top of nine W in a line, 
And we timed, we had the timing of the lights. Yes. Down to a science. Yes. <laughs> we would push down, listen to Charlie. Charlie, Charlie knows, you remember <laughs> yeah, this, Charlie. Yep, huh? yep. We would hit that, we had the light timing down, go! And we'd kick off. <laughs> Took off. And, and fly down the hill, completely down uh, from 9W, all the way down DPO <laughs> Avenue, all the way down to the bottom. By the time we stopped, we were out in front of the plaza or close to Broadway. Uh, you know, that's how far we would come, just flying down the hill. And people knew when they wow. saw us, they stopped. And and, yeah. and if you if you haven't been to Nyack and from Nine W down to Broadway, that is quite a slope. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is <laughs> that is like if you if you have an impression of what San Francisco hills look like. Right. Those hills <laughs> from the old high school all the way, oh, you know, yes. just up to Upper Nyack down to Bro- down to Broadway. Wow, yeah. you don't even you don't. It's scary to walk down those hills, and you can't really? imagine what it would be like in the winter with just a little bit of ice on on that. You don't right. want to even have your car uh, to, to let imagine alone skating down. Here. Let alone skating down there, and skates ain't got no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But we got to remember now. The Wizards are number one, baby. We got to remember that. It's number That's one, right. baby. Yeah, we conquered the hills, man. We definitely conquered the hills. So you were put up to a, you know, your 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 bar. The, the 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 goal was preservation under those kind of st- steep conditions. Definitely pushed you to be a little better than right. the, the, the cats that were sure. you know skating on flat sure. You know, sure. parking lots. You also had flat flat land, sure. But those hills, the challenge, I think. Oh. Exactly. the adrenaline rush, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it was just it, it was over the top. <laughs> did you have a lot of gear at one point? Did did somebody have to. elbow gear yeah, and, the, and the helmets we and all? all at first, you didn't have helmets, though, did you? No, we didn't. Oh, no, we, not at the beginning. No, not the I don't beginning. know about nobody else, no. but I, I couldn't afford a helmet. I was barely, yeah, no, you know, yeah. I, I was barely making it on. Uh, they didn't you know, have seatbelts, so, you know, wow, just right. before then. So, you know, helmets for. Right. And, but that's the beauty of what you guys started is that that didn't happen before. This was right. the introduction to skateboarding. Absolutely. This this is how it Here in came Calum, out. Sure. You know, exactly. here's a skateboard. What do you do with it? And you figured out, you know, what to do with it. Right. I think we inspired a lot of people that, that uh, you know, came yeah. a- after us, and they're still coming. Probably this this young man, Tommy, here, I'm sure. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, uh, I've got children twice his age, I believe. Oh yeah. One of the things that amazed me, Tommy. T- you don't know anything about Tommy, but Tommy is uh, he was the youngest guy on our uh, skateboard team, mm-hmm. the smallest. He was just like oh, really? he was just like he was like just Mike, like Mike. Huh? exactly. Okay. okay. But now you know we've been. I brought him to many competition. Me and him. Mm-hmm. And a couple of crew, we went to New York, Manhattan, Long Island, Jersey. Mm. Tommy could tell you a whole bunch of places we've been. You know, I taught Tommy. Tommy right. got better and better. He did his own thing, That's street awesome. skating. And then all of a sudden, he's the captain mm-hmm. of Bad Boys, which is the yeah. offspring of the Wizards. So, okay. it's Tommy. Okay. He's the bad boy. Yeah. He is, man. Seriously. I can't wait to see his skate, man. He's a skate. He's a good, uh, he's a great so, so when you guys first started skating, how, how was it to skate around Rockland? I mean, were, were you getting chased? Were people set with no skateboarding or... Or did, and you certain, found new places, places that were that were cool to skate around, right? right? There were but, some definitely some hot spots that were nicer well, than others. That's that's the great thing about being an innovator because there was nobody who really knew. People were amazed when they saw us skating. They stopped. I mean, cars literally stopped. You know, it wasn't like the police chasing you off and saying, "Hey, don't skate over there." You know, nobody knew. They didn't make you know, the they, signs yet. Nah, they hadn't, they hadn't come up with the signs yet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the laws hadn't been written yet. You know what I mean? So this was way before time. But I think uh, you know we met with a little resistance here and there. At different you know, spots here. But yeah, different on the private lo- properties and stuff like that. But but other than that, I think uh, you know uh, we, we were we were freestyle guys. There's no mm-hmm. question about that. Freestyling was 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 the it's thing that we yeah uh, that's the art that we. We really loved. We did a lot of uh, other things, slalom and riding banks. We did everything like in skateboarding. Yeah, we, we did. We did every. You name it: slalom, uh, downhill, high jump, long jump, right? Freestyle. Yeah. What else? There's so many three sixty. Pool. Right. Yeah. Pool riding. Definitely. Pool. pool exactly. Riding. Yeah. Ramps. Yeah. Building we, our ramps. We, we did. Too, we did. We did it all. We did every anything that you can do in skateboarding. We did it. Yeah. yeah. Plain and simple. We did it, and we invented. it. Yeah, we definitely, uh, and I and I really can relate to the the uh, innovative idea of being an inventor because we invented so many moves, you know, uh, with the skateboard. Now I see, you know, people skateboarding now, and it's a different genre and a mm-hmm. different, you know, kind of deal. But uh, I I can see like, you know, and sometimes I get on skateboards at, at home, and kids are like, 
Uh, you don't know what to do with that. I said, let me show you something. Son. You have no idea who you're talking to. Call old man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That move that you're doing. You know where that came from. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, so it's a, it's a lot of fun, I think. And, uh, the, the and to see music. it come so yeah. far. Yeah, because a lot like a lot like the uh, hip hop industry, I remember when it first started. Ah, oh, it's just a fad. It was oh, skateboarding's just a fad. You know, to to only know that you know it's uh, it leads the X Games now exactly. a lot of times. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's it's amazing uh, to me. Um, but the the phone lines aren't open because we we've got Charlie on the phone. I just want to remind our viewers right now that we're talking to Jamal Bay and Umberto Brownlee and Tommy. Tom, what's your last name? Tommy McGrath from oh, Congress, man. right here, uh, skateboarder. Uh, so, so Tom, let me ask you. And we got Charlie on the phone. Hi, Charlie. Hi, how you doing? All right, why don't you chime in here? Uh, you got a question? You want to talk about something? Um, well, I just want to say, uh, no, I don't really have a question actually. But uh, well, ch we, chime we in. did excel at freestyle. That was kind of our mainstay. But we tried everything else. You know, all the other disciplines in skateboarding. You know, and we, we were decent at just about everything, but, ex, you know, really uh, specialized in flatland freestyle. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so let me ask uh, all of us. Um, so given that it has been 20-something years. A few decades. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how has it changed in Rockland? I mean, ha ha have there been skate parks built in Rockland? Is there a skate park in Rockland? Uh, uh, and how has it changed? Has it gotten that much better, or is it pretty much the same, you know, place well, as the they, skate? They actually tore Congress Skate Park down and, like, put a fake ice rink. They put it's in ridiculous. a, a yeah. fake ice rink. Yeah. yeah, I used to teach up in Congress uh, Skate Park. Yeah. And it was kind of messed up because they wouldn't allow, you know, outside people to come in and skate. They had to go get this car. They got to spend money. They got to come back. And oh, wow. yeah, exactly. people got disappointed. And, you know, they're frustrated. So they said, the hell with this. Hmm. Politics. Politics it, exactly, ruins everything, Exactly, man. exactly. In so I told, them, I told them all, let all, the, let all the people come in and skate. That's hmm. what the park is for. Right. What's the sense right. of building a park where they can't skate? Yeah. But so, after that, okay, everything so, went down. So the Congress one got torn down. Yes. Yeah. Anything else? Well, there's one oh, skateboard yeah. park um, dropping. No, uh, that, that guy uh, closed down, too. He closed yeah. down? Yeah, he closed down. So the, the closest one is Second Nature now in Peak Skill. Oh, Nyack so needs a skate park. Nyack oh, needs a skate park. That's, that's right, Joe. Well, Hudson Valley needs a skate park. I hope it's big. It's yeah. probably beautiful down by the river. You know, yeah, could you imagine be. jumping down there? And Nyack Park is a great place for it. And there's plenty of space. for people. There should be just a whole extreme park down there where right. you can have, like, the, you know, the competition with the bikes, the bicycles, right. and the, right. uh, the skateboards. It'd be beautiful down by the river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so with a, with a sport, we can call it as popular as baseball, right? Yeah. Especially with Especially with young people. That well, there's I, not a skate park in the whole county. Yeah, and, and I know. For it's a crazy. That, I mean, there are more skate decks sold than baseball gloves in this country in the and country it, all right well let's just deal with our own little county here because we, we're pushing here first if we get it done yep. here we can get it done someplace else just like we do it here first that's right you know like the innovator you know that's you right. got to do it first someone's got to go first okay we'll take that on right so mm -hmm. uh so we got to get this the skate park done this movie uh which brings us all together actually it is part of that uh education let's call it to, That's right. to let the public know how popular it is, how much people love it, how much skill and uh, and discipline you really need on on this vehicle, on this That's little exactly board, right. this little deck, mm -hmm. That's with right. four wheels. Yeah. Discipline, just a master, just a like master, that. just oh, a master. Yeah. That board it is, takes is that. something. Yeah. You got to be, you got to be focused. You can't be think. You can't be on your cell phone. Right. 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 Okay, yeah, so it gets people off this, gets kids off their cell phone, gets kids off their computers, wow. get yeah. kids their heads out of their whatever cool. mm -hmm. televisions, and on and, and focused in a, in a, in a very disciplined way, in a positive way, in a, and in a positive way. It's right. athletic. Yes, physical work. A physical workout. I mean, you're out the house. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. And and in a county that that professes to have more parkland. You know, than any. 
Yeah. Well, you know, we all can't climb trees. In fact, I don't know if you're even allowed to climb trees, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a law against that now. It's probably a law against climbing trees. But we should be able to satisfy the needs of the community, and the community wants to skate. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Exactly. So, uh, Charlie, tell us about this film. Well, it's a... Uh... It's a long-form documentary. It it uh, it'll seem like it started in the early '70s when when Jamal started skating, and then when we all coagulated together and and uh, became friends and started competing and going on road trips was the late '70s, and that miraculously was caught on uh, Super 8 film by three incredible filmmakers. Um, one of them lives in Nyack, named James Ausler. And uh, so that is, uh, you know, I just can't believe how well we were documented on Super 8 film. So I, I figured it, I had to make a documentary about that. And I just, I used it as an excuse to hang out with my old buddies and <laughs> go skateboarding and, and, uh, and film us doing these tricks while we still could. And so since I've basically been working on this film for 20 years or we're, we've been working on this for 20 years and, yeah, absolutely, Charlie. Yeah. and uh there's a lot to say in it and uh it's it's gonna be great there's just everybody in it is diverse and and uh still in touch as friends and we've supported each other throughout our lives basically all right charlie listen um tommy zooming in to our picture and we're going to uh give a little look see uh to the trailer Oh, thank you. Right here, right now. Nice. Did an awesome job, Charlie, by the way. Thank you, Pooh. Can you zoom in more? Push it in. Roll in. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, you can tilt the camera. Tilt it. You got the arm back there. Uh, Under your arm is an arm. There you go. There you go. There you go. Cameraman and three easy lessons. Keep coming in. Right in, as far as you can. There you go. That's it. Beautiful. Okay. Let's try that. Can you hear it? People want to know. There it goes. I hear it. Just kill her too, man. When I left home. People used to watch us and wonder, what the hell were we doing? It wasn't just California that exploded. We had black, we had white, Hispanics. I think the oldest was 16 at the time, the youngest was like, what, eight? You know, they're individuals. I think it has a hell of a lot more to do with um, being able to express yourself and just be real. You know, freestyle really spawned so much of modern street skating, so... You know, a lot of that stuff was just, no one had ever done anything like that. Flipping boards, jumping over each other on this one board and still maintain our sanity. <laughs> the music scene in Nyack had a big influence on the, on the Wizards team. The funk was always with us, because the funk liked to ride close to us. <laughs> I mean, for all the contests we went to, I don't think it was ever so much competing in the contest as, as it was us going as a team, just the road trips themselves. That stuff, those are memories you'll never forget. You know, he did something that we all dreamed about doing. That's a hell of a thought, to want something so bad that you don't almost do anything to achieve a goal. I just wish I would have had a little more time, just a little more time. Back then there was no drugs. We, we wouldn't mess around with none of that mess because we had our skateboards. Until you got older. Until you got older. You just pretty much feel that everybody's just going to grow up and, and they're going to die when they're very, very old. Pain. Pain is the thing that really gets people attention. Oh my. Skateboarding in this, it's a life. It's time well spent. You find out at the end. Awesome deal here. I think America needs to see Slick. It. 
<laughs> Slick Charlie Samuels, you are the man. That's cool. Okay, zoom out. Hey, that was awesome. That was really, really Virgin good. Blacktop. Thank Go you. to virginblacktop.com. Check that out. The Brotherhood. Check that out. Wow. And now you can get, you know, cameras and you attach them to your skateboards right. and to the helmets, helmets and the GoPros and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know. Things have really changed, man. So yeah, that, we, that, we... the vintage footage is hot. That's cool, <laughs> man. That is very cool. Great stuff, Charlie. Charlie Samuels, everybody. Thank you. Um, yeah, both Jamal and I um, did a downhill a couple of years ago, and we didn't need a GoPro. But we uh, just put it between our legs and gave it back to each other as we're flying down a hill on Clausel Mountain and av- avoiding the cops, just like we did 30 years ago. Yeah, man. <laughs> Clausel. Wow, that's that's. See, they called that a mountain. That's not that's not nine W to Broadway. That's just that's just one little. That's like what do you call it? The the, the high jump. You see those skiers coming down the high jump with the Winter Olympics. Right. That's what those hills look like from. 9W to Broadway. But now, Clausland Mountain. Talking about something different, baby. That's called a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. I never really thought about that, but you're right. <laughs> okay, so come to Nyack and skate. Skateboard capital of the East Coast. So, uh, Ch- we're going to play this during the... You, you're working on that. That was a trailer, right? That's right. And um, we're... We're looking for funding. It's called finishing funds to finish the film, and uh, within a year it should be done. So uh, I encourage everybody to go to virginblacktop.com, virginblacktop.com, and check out the trailer and uh, the synopsis and anything else, and sign up for a free poster and uh, make it donations. Yeah, donations. Yeah, we need you. We need all. Make of it you. happen. Make it happen. Virgin Black Top. Dot com. <laughs> Slick. Uh, we're going to play a little... Uh, there's a little bit longer uh, piece of film that we'll play at the Nyack Film Fe- Festival. Yes. Right. Yep. So uh, we'll we're going to have I'll a bunch of shorts, and, and the Virgin Blacktop will be included for the uh, film festival this coming August 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Check your local listings. <laughs> what else, Charlie? Talk to us. Oh, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'll be, we'll be showing some unseen footage at Nyack uh, Film Festival, and we really hope that people come and see it, and, you know, Jamal will be there, I'll be there, Jonathan will probably be there, uh, I, don't, I don't know if Umberto's going to make it, but uh, I ho- I'm so glad he's here today, mm, and uh, so uh, maybe Joey will make it, he's only in the city, so... That would be a great opportunity to show the uh, show some clips at the Nyack Film Festival. I really appreciate that. And, and this is all uh, part of a convergence of uh, skating enthusiasts and uh, uh, really spanning generations to construct a skate park here in Nyack. Oh, definitely. I mm. mean, Jamal was instrumental in the beginning of that, and, and even before that, we were hoping for one when we were competing in the late 70s. Exactly. Right, right. So um, now it looks like it's really going to happen. You know, um, uh, they just got a $25,000 grant from the Tony Hawk Foundation, and uh, I just can't see it not happening. I mean, the, the woman who's behind it is just a force to be reckoned with. She's yeah, right. really pressing on, has a lot of energy, and she's going to have it, have it made. Yeah. No, she's determined. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it will it will be made. No, it's going to happen. Trust me, it's going to happen. But back then, it was 2005, I think with Tommy, they all came to me and said, look, they're trying to ban skateboarding in Nyack. I said, what? How are you going to ban skateboarding in Nyack? It's skateboarding <laughs> yeah. started in Nyack. Yeah, it's banning crazy. bicycle riding. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So they called right. me down, they, you know, they had the meeting down at the uh, Village Hall. You know, all the cameras and stuff down there. And at that time, we said, you know what, let's let's get a skateboard park together. So we got the petitions all together and whatnot. We got like over 176 of the, um, what do you call the people who owns these shops? The, um, oh, business owners? Chamber business owners, Commerce. yes. Over, everybody in Niagara, they all signed it. Oh, wow. Uh, we had like over 250 
kids' signatures and all signatures. And then when we went down to the uh, village, we tried to make our statement, and I told them, I said, look, don't look at this black face. This black face has had nothing to do with it. Right. It's for the youth. Right. Yeah. You know, for so we community. tried to push it, push it, push it. After a while, after about a year and a half, I said, I got tired. Right. I said, you know what? I can't do this no more. I got tired to keep on turning us down. You got to just Yeah, if they so don't so. want it, they, they'll, they're going to make you go through hula hoops, man. Yeah, exactly. Make you jump through a lot of things. Could you let the guys in? They're coming through the door. Right. Yeah, no, they'll make you go through a whole bunch of stuff. They, anytime anybody wants to do something they don't like, they're going to ask them to do a okay. parking survey as if they don't know how many cars. How many I'm times do that. they need to count how many parking spaces are down yeah. here? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so they will do everything. And they'll and then you don't show up one week and they'll reverse everything right. while you were watching them. If yeah. you don't watch them one week, they're going to reverse everything. Mm-hmm. All right, well, listen, we got a 3 o'clock yeah. program coming in called Modern Metro Music, hosted by Curly and Cats, a weekly program on Monday at 3 p.m. Hold off the cameras on. And so uh, we're going to we're gonna leave you with a little bit of Marky Julian's, uh, Marky Julian's I Love Nyack. And I want to thank our guest. I want to thank our guest, Jamal and Umberto and Tommy from Congress. And uh, also Charlie Samuels on the phone for bringing us this uh, and putting it together. Go to black. Uh, go to virginblacktop.com. Find out more about this great documentary that's being made, and you can help support it do- and and make it happen. And I'm sure Charlie uh, is probably offering a free ticket and T-shirts or something for their contributions. Uh, yep. Why not, Charlie? Isn't that right, Charlie? And, yep, and stickers. And stickers. <laughs> and and we're gonna screen it here. One of the screenings will be right here at the Nyack Village Theater. Right, Charlie? Nice. Yep. That'll be <laughs> nice. I, I nice. like making deals on the air. <laughs> we, have some doc- we document it. <laughs> Terrific, Charlie. Thank you so much for uh, pursuing this. I know there's a lot of great uh, effort and, and honest, uh, committed for the betterment of uh, just uh, the community. Sure. Skating. Mm-hmm. Skating is, uh, is, uh, is community. You know, build community through skateboarding. Uh, That's right. Exactly. And thank time. you, Richard Quinn. And and uh, let's uh, let's wish Sarah Anderson good luck in in completing uh, the funding for the New York skate park for the skate park. And it would just be wonderful to have both of these projects finished around the same time. That's exactly. right. Yeah. Virginblacktop.com and also Nyack needs a skate park uh, on Facebook and it's uh, all over the place. Do your Google stuff. You love skateboarding. Do it. Do it for the skateboarders of the future. Do it for the skateboarders of now, and do it because it's good. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, we like like our old saying. We say, "Ride it to the wheels fall off." Yeah, yeah, amazingly, uh, Charlie. Yeah. uh, I'm a firm believer that the skateboarding and community and what the Wizards did back in the day is just ties into what this uh, what this country needs to happen now in terms of family, camaraderie, you know, uh, love, Community, friendship. exactly, Community. you're right. Yeah, those, those are the values that, that raised us, and those are the values that I believe are missing today. Yes. And, that, you know, that's skateboarding. Right. America needs more of that. Right, and America <laughs> needs more of that. Certainly, Nyack is a unique community, and it draws people from all over the world, but it also has a family dynamic that, that's relentless, man. I, I grew up here, born and raised here in Nyack, and I've been all over this country. And I'm telling you that Nyack has something that is super unique. And special. And it's very, very special. And, and I think the only way that we can continue to nurture it uh, in this family type way is put together the skate park, you know, uh, support, you know, uh, the, the film festival, support the local businesses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it has to happen, man. And make it safe. Skate but, park is going to be safe. Safe yep. spot for kids to, to uh, exactly. learn how to skate and, right. and uh, perfect their skating. Right. And who knows? You know, like I said, it's uh, like we have all said, it's discipline, it's focus, it's good, and it's good for the community. We need it here in, in Nyack. We're going to get it in Nyack. Right. It's going to happen. Sarah Anderson, we love you. Thank you very much. All right. Charlie Samuels, we love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right, and that's it for Modern Metro Moments here. Coming to you from the village of Nyack, New York, from the Nyack Village Theater, high atop the Woolworth Way building, right here on Main Street, Nyack, New York. That's it for now. We're going to let Marquis Julian take us out with his song, I Love Nyack. All right.
All right. Wizards are number one, baby. Wizards, Wizards number one. are number one. <laughs> Slag. Because people give me love. They hold me down. A lot of whistles. Fist, heart, pounds. I love Nyack. I love this town. Cruising on a Sunday in my Cadillac. My girl up front, troubles in the back. Riding Main Street, her hands in my lap. Thank God I love Nyack. I, I love The night falls, the main street glows. I get some phone calls to do a few shows. Night just started, far from closed. About to head home and change up clothes. And I, I'm about to get real fly. White shirt, button down with a suit tie. Fresh jeans matching, fitted in my Levi's. Cause bourbon, the poorhouse, give me all time. And I give it to you straight with no lies. Paint a real picture from both sides. I still love the town, but those guys tend to be a sore in both eyes. And I still carry good vibes, cause no man could ever blow a good high. Still, I rock the show, make the crowd lie. Welcome, all the good feelings up inside. Cruising on a Sunday in my Cadillac. My girl up front, troubles in the back. Riding Main Street, her hands in my lap. Thank God I love her. It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio dot com.